All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Um, today we are starting officially on grade five. Excuse me for math. So this is going to go back to lesson one. It's going to say lesson one again, um, but it's grade five, lesson one. So here we go. Number Jim. Number Jim. Six, seven. Is this multiply? I bet this is multiply. Let me try. It is multiply, I think. Oh, no. These are adding for sure. I'm messing them up. Looks like I'm gonna have to start this over again. Probably they're not gonna give them to me. Well, I can still get my nine. Okay, hurry, hurry. All right, so this first bunch, the first couple I'm going to miss because I was multiplying. That should have been seven. And this should have been 17. And this should have been 27. And this should have been 57. And this should have been 77. That was two. Okay, so now I'm in good shape. That was four. Oh, 81, not one. I didn't do so good on this number, Jim, today. 41, not one. And this would have been 31. Boy, did I stink this up today, huh? Oh, I've been five, not four. Did I get nine? I hope so. But yeah, still adding and subtracting, ladies and gentlemen, just like they were. No multiplying or dividing. All right, I must have got my nine. So the sprint, what do we have for the sprint? Ninety seconds. Answer as many as you can. Go. One twenty. Oops. 140, 150, 170, 10. When you're multiplying by 10, you're just adding a zero, right? So that's 22 with a zero. It's 23 with a zero. That's 29 with a zero. It's 92 with a zero. 92 with a zero. That's what those are. That's 20 with a zero. That's 30 with a zero. It's 40 with a zero. And so on. I 
it's 134 with a zero. It's 234 with a zero. 334 with a zero. Okay, let's see how I did here. Twenty in a row, I dominated. Well, I'm not gonna make you watch another one. All right, ladies and gents, time for the actual lesson, the math chat. Let's see, we have. Um, I think it's rounding still, but I think we're gonna deal with decimals now. Let's see. Hi, Cerner. I'm Miss Biso, here with Hannah and Jacob. Today's lesson is a math chat. In math chat, we'll learn something new together. Before every math chat, make sure you have your pencil, your Zern student notes, and headphones. Okay. Yes. Today, we'll sharpen our place value understanding by working with a place value chart. I'll show 1,000 like this, with one disc in the thousands place. Now it's your turn to show me 1,000 on the place value chart. Press the audio button if you want to hear me read the directions. So to just, oh, they want me to do it like this. So it's the same thing we've had, ladies and gentlemen, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, but now we have a decimal point, then tens, hundreds, thousands. So it goes the same way to the right, except for there's no such thing as ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, uh, ten thousands, hundred thousands, same thing. But right now they just want thousands. One thousand equals ten hundreds. I'll unbundle one thousand for ten hundreds like this. Now, it's your turn to unbundle 1,000 for 10 hundreds. Okay, so I want to X this out and then one. Right. Did it for me. We have 10 disks in the hundreds column. That's 10 hundreds. Let's divide these 10 hundreds by 10. I'll distribute these 10 hundreds disks equally into 10 groups like this. How many hundreds disks are in each group? What is 10 hundreds divided by 10? 10 divided by 10 would be 1. There is 100 in each group. So 10 hundreds divided by 10 equals 100. We know that 1,000 equals 10 hundred. So what is 1,000 divided by 10? Where are we at here? 1 divided by 10 would be 0. 0.1? she wants me to do it. Yeah. One thousand divided by ten hundreds. I should have listened to her, huh? Just one maybe she wants. Is that what she wants? That's what she wants. One divided by 10, though, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, but there takes, um, it takes 10 hundreds to equal 1,000. So that's what she was looking for. 1,000 divided by 10 also equals 100. I'll show that on the place value chart with digits like this. 1,000 divided by 10 equals 100. Here's 100 disk. I'll unbundle 100 for 10 tens like this.
Now, let's divide these tens by 10. I'll distribute these 10 tens disks equally into 10 groups like this. How many tens disks are in each group? What's 10 tens, or 100, divided by 10? So as you say, there's one in each group. Oh, they gave us the one. But 100, what is 100? Tens. 100 divided by 10 equals 110. I'll show that on the place value chart with digits like this. 100 divided by 10 equals 110. Let's keep dividing. Okay. What she's trying to show you, ladies and gentlemen, is eventually she's going to show you that every time you divide by 10, the decimal point moves one place. Okay. One place. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not what I want. One, one. That's what she's trying to get to. She, this is like a little bit, honestly, I don't really like this way. When she's done, I'll show you my way. It'll be a little bit easier. So 110 divided by 10 is 1 tenth. What she's showing you again is that the decimal point's just moving, moving, moving. When you divide by 10, the decimal point moves one place to the right. So tenths, we move the hundredths. Hundreds, we're going to move the thousandths. One ten divided by ten equals one one. One one divided by ten equals one tenth. One tenth divided by ten equals one hundred. One hundred divided by ten equals one thousandth. We divided by 10 each time we moved one place to the right on the place value chart. Nice effort so far, Zerner. Now, let's multiply on the place value chart. 4 tenths times 10. Let's start by showing 4 tenths. Write the digit 4 in the place value chart to show 4 tenths. So she wants four tenths. I'm not going to do all this, ladies and gentlemen, but all that's going to happen now, she's multiplying, so it's going to be going this way, okay? Going to go the opposite way. Um, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to let you do this, and I'll see what the rest of this lesson looks like. I have a much easier way to do this, but we may not do it today. We'll see, you know, when they get to it. Um, we'll do their way today. I can't say that I love their way, though. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this I do like. When you multiply by 10, the numbers get larger or smaller. If you're multiplying, the number's going to get larger. Here's all that's really happening. This gets 10 times bigger. So this decimal point moves one place to the right. So this answer is going to be 24.3 because I want the answer. Uh, it's obviously the number's going to get bigger, right? So however many zeros I have is how many places I move this, okay? Um, I feel like tomorrow we may slow down and have my lesson on this. We may uh, skip a day as there tomorrow. We'll see. If they get to my way a little bit better, then I'll be cool with it. But if not, I feel like we may be taking a day off as there tomorrow. I don't like the way they're doing this. Okay, ladies and gents, like I said, um, it's not that that's a bad way. It's just not the way I would do it. Um, some of you may like it better that way, but um, I think we're going to take some time and do it my way tomorrow. Um, so we'll only have four Zern lessons this week instead of five. And if we have a day off Friday, maybe we'll only have three, but that's no big deal. Um, like I said, it's not that I don't like their way. It's just not my way. And I think my way is a little bit easier, you know? Um, so we're going to do my way too. Maybe that way was good for you. Um, if you found that kind of tough, we're going to go over that again tomorrow. Do it my way. Okay. So let me get to the power tower here. So one hundredth divided by ten is one thousandth because the number is getting smaller. Okay.
Okay, let me see. I'll do one their way. Solve 2.91 or 2 and 90 one hundredths times 100. Start by showing 2 and 90 one hundredths or 2.91 on a place value chart. So start by showing that. Okay, 2 and 90 one hundredths. Okay, before I do this, ladies and gentlemen, what they're saying is they're going. this is going to multiply. So the number is going to get bigger. So this 2 is going to move over. How many places is it going to move over? Well, however many zeros there are is how many places this 2 is going to move over. So since there's two zeros, this one's going to bump over. Boom, boom. So the 2 will be here. The 9 will be here. The 1 will be here. Okay, that's closer to my way right there, the way I just did it. But like I said, we're going to take a day tomorrow and do it my way. So like I said, the two needs to bump over one, two. So the two will now be in the hundreds. It's that one. Actually, now that I look at their way, I do kind of like it. All right, so look. Now we have 2.91 times, oh, they just want the, the number. What is it going to be? 291. See, because here's the decimal point. So the decimal point will be here now, 291. I could put a decimal point there. Um, that doesn't change it in any way, though. I'll do another one because I'm going to guess that these are kind of difficult on you guys right now. Okay. Solve. Divide 841 divided by 100. Start by showing 841 on the place value chart. Now, we talked about this before. Where does a decimal point go? If there isn't one, it comes after the number. So the decimal in 841 is after the 1, right? So that means 841 decimal point, right? So we have an 8 hundredths, a 4 in the tens, a 1 in the ones, 841. Now, we want to divide this number, guys, so it's going to get smaller. So that means this 8 needs to move this way, okay? We want to make this number smaller. How many places does it have to move that way? It has to move two places, 1, 2. So the 8 will be here. Four will be here. The one will be here when we're done. See, that would be making the number bigger. Now I'm into the thousands. I'm dividing, so the number is going to get smaller. I got to go this way, two places, because I'm divided by 100. So there's one place, two place. Bam, 841. Eight and 41 hundredths is what it would change to. I do like their way now. We'll still do my way, though. So, Eight. What comes next? Decimal point. Eight point four one. That's eight and forty one hundredths is what that is. Oh, that's the end of it. Okay, like I said, um, hopefully that goes good for you. Uh, I'll be at the meet for sure. I expect probably some questions today. Um, and I don't blame you. It's a little bit difficult their way to understand, but I think once you get it their way, I'm starting to think maybe their way might be better than mine. But we'll do mine tomorrow either way, okay? All right, guys. See you later.